welcome back to another week of what's for dinner this week i'm sharing a lot of our family favorite meal ideas so these are meals that have been around for a long time in our family i make them all the time we are doing chicken parmesan scalp potatoes and i'm also making a really delicious tortellini soup recipe so i think you guys will really enjoy these recipes if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love to have you. I share a lot of cooking content on my channel, a new what's for dinner every Sunday, lots of crock pot meals and other motherhood related content. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week of what's for dinner. I'm starting this what's for dinner off with a really easy tortellini sausage soup recipe. It's definitely one of our favorites. So I'm just starting off by sauteing up one white onion in some olive oil. I'm just sauteing this until the onions are nice and translucent in color. And then once that is fully cooked through, I am adding in about a pound of sausage. I actually had mine all cooked and ready to go in the fridge. So I'm just warming it up a little bit, but otherwise you can cook your sausage right in with your onion. Now once that sausage has completely warmed up, I'm just adding in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I really love the flavor that this adds to the soup and I just love adding garlic to most of my dishes. So I'm just going to cook that up for about 30 seconds until it's nice and fragrant. And then I'm adding in one full jar of marinara sauce along with one can of petite diced tomatoes. And then I'm also adding in one full bag of frozen tortellini. This was a 19 ounce bag. And then for the liquid, I'm just adding two cups of chicken broth here. For the seasonings, I kept it really simple with just some Italian seasoning, a little bit of oregano, as well as some salt and pepper, but just add all of that to taste. And then I did add in about half a cup of some heavy whipping cream to make it really nice and creamy. Now the nice thing about this dish is that it's a one pot meal, so you can just throw all of this in there and you're just going to cook it up until your tortellini is completely cooked through. I just cooked it for about 10 minutes until all of my noodles were nice and soft, and then once everything was cooked I turned the stove off and I added in my chopped up spinach and I just let that wilt up for a little bit I love to sneak spinach into recipes like this I added in probably about two cups but I honestly think next time I will add in closer to four cups I really love spinach and it definitely was not overpowering in this dish this was a super easy dinner to throw together and definitely one of my favorites for this next dinner, I'm making some chicken parmesan, which this is always one of our family favorites. I've shared this on my channel before, but I did it in the air fryer this time, so it's a little bit different, so I definitely had to share it with you guys anyway. So I'm starting off with about three quarters cup of Italian panko, and then I'm adding in half a cup of the Parmesan cheese. It's not the shredded, it's the powdered kind. And then I'm adding in about one teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of pepper, and and about one tablespoon of some dried parsley into this bowl and this is what's going to coat the chicken. So make sure that mixture is really well combined and then you're gonna grab a second plate for your flour. So I use just about half a cup of flour here, but this amount really doesn't matter. You're just going to need it to coat the chicken. And then into my other bowl, I am cracking in two eggs and I'm just whisking those up together. Now we are moving on to actually coating the chicken. So if you've never coated chicken, it's actually very simple. So I like to take my chicken breasts and I actually cut them in half lengthwise. So they're really nice and thin. You definitely wanna do that for this recipe or it's gonna be super thick. So you're first going to coat it in the flour mixture, then into the egg wash. And then last of all, you're gonna put it in that panko breadcrumb mixture. And it's gonna make a really nice coating on this chicken. This is hands down my favorite recipe for chicken 
and Parmesan. It's super easy. There's not much to this coating. Very simple to throw together, but it's one of our family favorites. This is the dinner that I always make for date nights and just when we want something a little bit extra, but it's honestly really easy to throw together. And on this night, I actually decided to make it in the air fryer. And I honestly think it turned out better in the air fryer than when I actually pan fry it. So after I have my chicken all coated, I'm just heading over to my air fryer. This is the Alec Holmes air fryer. I absolutely love it. I'm just spraying my basket with a little bit of vegetable oil and then I'm adding two of my chicken breasts right in there. I was only able to cook two at a time just to make sure that they actually got really well cooked in here but then I sprayed the top and these turned out super crispy and delicious. In the past, I have pan fried them and then I will throw them into the oven after, but this was super easy because I didn't have to worry about all the grease in the pan and it's also a lot healthier. So I just cooked these in the air fryer for about 10 minutes and they turned out super good. I did them 10 minutes on each side. And then once they were fully cooked through, I added on top my marinara sauce with my mozzarella cheese. I popped them back in for just a couple more minutes, basically just until that cheese was melted. And these turned out absolutely delicious. Of course, I just served the chicken parmesan over a bed of pasta, and this was absolutely delicious. For this next recipe, I'm making some ham and scalp potatoes. This is a recipe that my mom used to make. I've kind of adapted her recipe, but it's definitely a family favorite for us. It always turns out super delicious. So I'm just starting off with about six or seven russet potatoes. You can really use any type of potato here, but you're gonna want to cut them up, make them really nice thin pieces, and they will turn out absolutely delicious in this scalp potato dish. Now when it comes to ham, on this day I was using a ham steak, but I would say the great majority of the time that I make this dish, I will have leftover ham that I have frozen in the freezer, whether it's leftover from Christmas or other holidays, I will always take that leftover ham and I will just chop it up, throw it in the freezer, so that a lot of times is what I use for this recipe. But whatever type of ham you use is totally fine, but you're gonna want about two cups of chopped up ham. So after I finish chopping up that ham, I'm also going to be dicing up one large white onion. I always love to add onion into my scalp potatoes. It just adds really good flavor. So now into a separate little bowl, I'm adding in about three tablespoons of just regular all-purpose flour. You're going to want about a teaspoon and a half of just regular salt, and then about one teaspoon of garlic powder, about half a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon of just some ground black pepper, and then I'm just going to mix all of this together. This is going to coat all of the potatoes, the ham, and the onions. I like to toss all of these ingredients together before adding in the flour mixture. So you can add this flour right into the potatoes and the ham, or you can actually layer it up in the casserole dish. My mom always used to do it that way, but it really doesn't matter because you're gonna get all of these potatoes and the ham coated in this flour mixture. And then you're going to want a 13 by nine pan, and you're just gonna spray that with a little bit of cooking oil. And then I like to add in about half of the potato in the ham mixture, layer that in there, and then you're going to add in your favorite cheese. You can use cheddar for this or Colby and Monterey Jack is what I'm using on this particular night. So I will just layer that up in there and make sure to coat both layers in a little bit of cheese. I would say I use probably about a cup and a half for this whole casserole. Now 
Now once you have all of your potatoes and ham in there, you're going to want to add in your milk. So on this night, I was using 2% and I added in just over three and a half cups of milk. You can do a little bit more or a little bit less just depending on how many potatoes you have. And then I always like to add some butter to the top. This just adds really good flavor. I don't add a ton, probably about two tablespoons. And I just add little dollops all across the top. And then I cover this up with some aluminum foil. And this is going to get baked in a 375 degree oven for about an hour or until it's completely cooked through. Now I normally do like to broil it just to give it a really nice brown color, but my kids were super hungry and I didn't even take the time to do that on this night, but it was a super delicious dinner. All right guys, that is going to wrap up this week of what's for dinner. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I would love to have you over on my channel for a lot more cooking content and some motherhood videos. But that is going to wrap up today's video. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.